Hey, so I just landed in Atlanta. I'm ready to go to the place I am staying at. One thing I did notice is the temperature difference. I am here at City Barbecue in Sandy Springs. I completely tore up the three cheese mac and cheese. Delicious, especially when you are when your body goes into shock from being in a cold area. I have their vinegar, coleslaw, and some French fries. So I ordered their what is it called? The three side plate. So I got three sides and a drink. Definitely recommend this place. Everyone here, it's pretty friendly and pretty nice. I mean, I love that southern hospitality. Hey everyone, so I'm at the Synchronicity Theater. Um, one of the people I'm staying with actually works here and she invited me to the show that they have. Tonight it's called Wayfinding. I'm in the audience, so don't be mad at me for recording because the show has not started yet. Let me show you the set. Very simple set, small theater. I'm excited to see what's going on. Day one in Atlanta, let's go. Okay, so I am at the Black Woman in Film Networking Summit. This is at the Atlanta Metropolitan State College. And I really liked the first two classes that I went to. The first one was Acting Do's and Don'ts with Raven Drummer. Amazing. You have to take a workshop with her. Next one was How to Write Your TV Script in 30 Days. That wasn't amazing. Um, she gave like little breadcrumbs and then at the end was selling her actual class where she gives all the details so I didn't really like that aspect of it. Um, Francesca Amaker from 11 Alive was here earlier. She was teaching, um, what was it? What was she teaching? Um, red carpet hosting. Yeah, so that's what she, oh my gosh, I just stepped on the light switch and it went off. She was teaching red carpet hosting. I didn't get to do that because it was at the same time as acting do's and don'ts but I love Francesca I'm a fan of hers and I went to how to pitch a tv script and that was not amazing but I still learned something new so all in all I think I definitely recommend the black women film network okay it's amazing So it's day three for me in Atlanta. Right now I am in Buckhead. I was just shopping at the TJ Maxx, which is right there behind me. Right now it is, the temperature is amazing. It was really cold when I first got here, but honestly during the days, it's amazing. Right now it's 64 degrees, but it honestly feels like it could be like 74 degrees. It's not windy and it's sunny. Like the first night I was here, it was super windy. And it was like 43 degrees, but it made it feel like it was 33 degrees. So far, I love Atlanta. You know, people say great things about the city. There's a lot of opportunities, a lot of things to do, and a great community here. So I'm glad I came. So while I'm sitting here waiting for the train, I'm going to explain why a lot of people say that Atlanta has a lot of opportunities. Because from me just being here there are a lot of people that are like my age you know early to mid 20s that are 
you know, working in, you know, pretty decent careers. And especially if you're out of college for what, two, three, four years max. Some people are lucky, but from my experience um, in the area that I live in, not everyone is doing, you know, their dream job or in their dream career field. I know I definitely wasn't. And although I do acting, that's sporadic work, but I would apply, like, just because I was a theater major doesn't mean I'm a dummy, so I would apply to places, like, for easy jobs, like, you know, social media coordinator or um, secretary, and it's just like, I would be overqualified for that. They'd want to pay you, like, $9 an hour, and it's just like, who wants to work for $9 an hour? You have a college degree, you're an adult, you have bills to pay. So that's just the situation down in the area that I'm from. But what I'm seeing in Atlanta, like, people are like, this is like the black mecca. There's a lot of networking opportunities, which is great. There's a lot of businesses, Fortune 500 companies, Fortune 100 companies, and, like, a lot of major headquarters that are here. So that's why I feel very encouraged, and I love seeing that, you know. I'm just like, wow, people are really productive here. Anyway, um, I'll make it really short because y'all sat here and listened to all of this. Finding Sunshine was my very first film ever. We're coming up on one year since I put it out. Since then, I have put out four other projects, working on a wonderful series, and, and Zell is part of my writer's room, um, working on a whole other series, and living by coastal here in LA. Yes. And let's see, it's based on a true story. Um, what else? To answer some of y'all's questions, I'm originally from Brooklyn, New York. Ah, New York City. <laughs> um, also, regarding budgeting, I, I, just be resourceful. So I'm, I just left that little, um, it was called Coochie History Month. It was a screening and Q&A. Um, it's in this warehouse. So when my driver dropped me off, I was like, this place is sketchy. And I'm like, and it's funny because I got here like 15 minutes late after, and I was the first one here. So I'm like, hmm. But it was amazing. Yo, Atlanta is not disappointing that's all i gotta say like literally people here are so creative they're really into the creative arts and they just want to collaborate educate you know they want to showcase and there's just so many opportunities and people even like i said even if you're not into creative arts and it's just like you could do so many things wow look at the full moon It's just like, wow, it's great here. Everyone, it seems like the greatest thing I can say is like, I'm not from here. I don't even have a car in the city. And it's just like, I've done so much. Things are accessible. So I just, I'm really having a good time. I'm having a great time. It's amazing. All around, all around. This, this is Hollywood. This is, this, this is uh, 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 Hollywood Sabbath. This is, this is, this is, this is, is this really Black Hollywood? Yes, I mean, yes, of course. This is, uh, this is, this is the place. You, you know, you go to uh, go to Hollywood. You don't have to do that, man. This is it.
Hello everyone. That day and time has come for me to finally leave Atlanta and go back home. I don't want to go. I love it here. But before I get out of here and go to the train station, I thought I'd just show you the room that I'm staying in. So here I am by the door. Let me start from out here. So here's a door. If you come out here, this is the bedroom. They had an extra blow up mattress. Here's the bed. Um, if you look at here, that goes to the patio, the balcony, and it has its own private bathroom. So right here, here is the sink and the mirror. This door is the closet. And this door is the bathroom, which is not very interesting, honestly. The toilet is off to the side, but Come on, who cares about a regular toilet? That's all, y'all. I'm going back home. I love it here, Atlanta. You and I will be like this in the future. That's Francesca Amaker from 11 Alive. This is a Black Women Film Network Summit. Hello. <laughs> Francesca put me on her story. Ah! Uh.